So here is the 1.4 part two homework. Um, I would like to do a few of these problems with you um, just so that we kind of see, you know, that we're on the same page. Um, so uh, let's read the instructions. It says approximate to the nearest uh, hundredth the relative or absolute extrema of the function and state the x values where they are occurring. So we're going to take and we're going to put that uh, equation into Desmos. Highlight your um, points of extrema. Um, screenshot it. I'm going to kind of take and crop it just so you can see that part of the graph. Okay. And then you're going to go over to the little plus button. And in the photo library here, you're going to insert that. You can just make it little. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. And put that this is number 22. Now you're not done. You need to tell me what these things are. So you can say f of 0 is 8. And that is this point right here. And that is a relative maximum. And then this point right here, f of 1.33 is 4.6. The nearest hundredth. And that is a relative min. So that's all you're doing for 22 through 31. You're going to enter it into Desmos. You're going to highlight those points, but you got to tell me what those points are. Okay. Now you're going to skip 32 and 33. Let's talk about uh, the instructions for 34 through 45. So let's do 34 together. <clears throat> this says to find the average rate of change of each function on the given interval. Okay. So for 34, write down your function. Now our interval for this one is negative one, three. Now what does that mean? Well, those are, this is your x1, this is your x2, those are x's, okay? So we're gonna plug in uh, x sub one, which is negative one, and we're gonna plug in three. So it's gonna be negative four times negative one squared, which is negative four, minus three minus four, which is negative 11. Then we're going to plug in 3, so that's going to be negative 4 times 9, which is negative 36. 3 times 3 is 9. Oh, so that's going to be um, negative 31. Okay. Now, here is your average rate of change. Your average rate of change is your slope. Okay, so the slope between these two points is g of x of 2 minus g of x of 1 over x of 2 minus x of 1. So in this case, here's our g of x of 2, negative 31, minus our g of 1, which is negative 11, over 3 minus negative 1. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice a little bit here. So we get negative 31 plus 11 over 3 plus 1, which is negative 20 over 4, or negative 5. So that's how you're going to find average rate of change for um, those particular functions. So I hope this helps a little bit. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.